This is Aaron. Aaron is a 34-year-old and lives and works in Colac, a rural town in western Victoria, with his wife and two teenage sons. The family is very involved in the local community, and the entire family is heavily involved with the football club, the Colac Tigers FC. Both of their sons play footy for the club, and Aaron coaches some of the junior teams and plays in the back line for the Premier team. His wife is a member of the board. A few months back, Aaron was celebrating a win with his teammates. On his own admission, he had more than a few beers at the club celebrating the victory that saw Colac Tigers make the finals based on that win. Later that evening, Aaron thought he would be fine to drive home. It's only a five-minute drive away, he said to himself. I'll be right, he told himself. Aaron was surprised to see a booze bus on the short drive home. He was asked to pull over and submit a breath test for analysis. He obliged, and the reading showed that he had a .12 BAC. Because of this, he had to front court and was subsequently fined and was disqualified for driving for 18 months. As you can imagine, this had a major impact on him and his family life. No driver's license meant that Aaron lost his job as a truck driver for Buller Dairy Food Colac, which he loved. His wife and children felt like they were under the scrutiny from their friends and community, and they both felt that people's perceptions of them had changed. They felt hushed whispers about them, so much so that it became a topic of conversation at nightly dinners. Aaron's coaching of the junior league came into question, and the club's committee were to review his leadership role, and this created a conflict with his wife being a committee member. Without a job, and seeing his role as a community leader being scrutinised, Aaron succumbed to the boredom of being at home by himself Monday to Friday. His feeling of embarrassment, shame, and then the financial stress from losing his driver's licence saw Aaron reach for the bottle. As to him, it helped him ease his pain. After a few months passed, Aaron's routine of drinking full-strength beer from lunchtime continued. Of an evening, he would drink wine or scotch. He drank until he fell asleep, normally at midnight, to wake up in the morning with a hangover and do the same. Aaron's relationship with his wife deteriorated. Conflict at home escalated. One of his teenage boys had been caught drinking alcohol after school. Aaron's wife blamed him and threatened to leave unless Aaron did something about his drinking.